So I'm at the gas pump the other day. I look up and I see a no smoking sign. Underneath that it said flammable. So man, I fired me a big ass cigarette because gamers don't die. We respond. What? It's your guy, man, Big Smith, and I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel, Big Smith Go To Gaming. And today we've got another video for y'all, and y'all know what we do: light, fun, entertaining videos, tutorials, glitch videos, all kind of good stuff for gamers on Red Dead Online. So if you like content like that, you want more content like that, then go ahead right now before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, hit that thumbs up, and hit yourself in the mouth if you ain't did it yet man let's go all right now that we got that out the way let's go ahead and get into the video y'all know what it is man it's february so that means it's tax time it's tax season and everybody looking for them refunds all right so that got me to thinking what if you could get a refund for one thing on red dead online what would it be and with that being said i posted the question on the reddit site and I got a lot of responses from the community. A lot of people uh, came in and responded to it. And I just want to give y'all a look at some of these responses. I feel like maybe these can help some new players to not waste their money on some things. And then other than that, some of this, some of the shit they said just funny. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. I posed this question on the Reddit site and I said... What is one thing that you bought in Red Dead Online that you wish that you could get a refund for? And let's get right into the comments and the responses that I got, okay? So, Titan just said, For me, I usually purchase weapons, I then upgrade, decorate, then rarely use. So yeah, that little comment right there probably strikes home with a whole lot of players because probably everybody who starts out on Red Dead Online does the same thing, goes to find the guns because you know you're going to need them to protect yourself and whatnot. So you buy every gun, you upgrade them all the way to give you the max abilities and to give you as much of a edge on other players as you can get and kind of find out most of those guns are trash and ultimately when it all comes down to it at the end of the day you're only going to be using like three or four guns that you keep with you all the time okay so be wary of that make sure you know what guns you want when you're starting out all right so moving on son of rock and roll says medium delivery wagon a hundred percent saved up until i could get the large but was forced to buy the medium first Great A bullshit, IMO, and completely inconsistent with the rest of the game's economy. So he's mad. And justifiably so, because this purchase here is completely unavoidable if you're involved in the trader role at all. If you're doing any trader role sell missions, you have to have a wagon to do the missions. And you have the choice between a medium and a large. The medium sells half the goods that a large sells. Um, so yeah, you have to buy the medium first for some reason. And then after that, you can buy the large. That's kind of trash, but you know, I'm not really complaining. But apparently this guy is. So hey, I feel you, my man. But let's move on. And then Sonny Badger 75 said, Tier 3 never without one. Maxed it out early on in beta, then it quickly got nerfed. These days, $900 isn't much, but back then, ouch. So yeah, I know a lot of players on the game was feeling this one because a lot of them had that never without one card. And all that is is an ability card that used to protect you completely uh, above the shoulders. So anywhere you were shot above the shoulders, as long as you had your hat on, you would be protected for one shot all right and now since they nerfed it now players can shoot you in the face or anywhere that the hat isn't protecting which makes more sense to me but it is kind of a rip off for players that bought it just for that reason now they can't even use it so they bought it they upgraded it wasted all that money on it and there you have it another regretted purchase on red dead online okay and Bert Thundercock said, every saddle that's not a Nacho Duches. And I completely agree with him on that one. Because the Nacho Duches is far above and better than any other saddle on the game. It's the only saddle that you'll need once you get level high enough to buy it. But for all you low levels, you'll have to settle for what you can get, which are some pretty garbage saddles. But uh, yeah. Once you get high enough level, make sure you look out for that Nacho Doches. It's the best one on the game. It's the only one you're going to need from then on. All right. Then you got Honda. J Honda Fish said, Goddamn collector's bag. I had to grind for a few weeks to get the gold bars for it, only to realize the day after I got it, I could have linked my Twitch Prime and got it for free. 
Well, that sucks, and it's very unfortunate that you wasn't watching my videos a few months ago because on one of the update videos, I talked about just that very thing and explained exactly how to link your Twitch Prime account and your Social Club account to get that collector's bag for free, along with the way to get your butcher's table for free and your bounty hunter license for free. All right, a lot of those things were limited time offers, so I don't think they're still on the table, but if they are, you might want to take advantage of those as well. All right, moving along. West Dog 85. If I didn't buy it, I wouldn't know I didn't like it. See, I like what this guy said. This motherfucker must be rich as hell because that's some shit a rich motherfucker would say. If I didn't buy it, I wouldn't know I didn't like it. Well, you know, a lot of us regular folks, we ain't got the money to be as frugal as that. We got to know exactly what we buy. We got to know we need it or we got to know that we want it. And we can't just buy it to see if we're going to like it. You know what I'm saying? But big ups to you, man. That's good on you if you can afford to live your life like that. But a lot of us can't. So next. What we got next, man? And you're in my spank bank, said the refined binoculars. Total waste of money. And I totally agree with you there. Because at no point in the game are you going to ever need the refined binoculars. You'll never find yourself sitting on top of a mountainside looking out with some binoculars at the distance trying to figure something out or uh, scope something out. I promise you. Don't waste your money. And then we got Oikuli. I'm not sure exactly what that says, but uh, I'm pretty sure I butchered that. But anyway, he said, or she said, two sawed off shotguns. Heard they were great and OP since Slippery Bastard didn't make them inaccurate. I was wrong. Ridiculously inaccurate with the sights. Slippery Bastard only makes it so much worse. I did a single one star legendary bounty. I used up all of my shells and slugs with them. Both guns went down to half dirtiness. Absolute trash. Don't make my mistakes. Stay far away. Now I ain't post the replies from this comment. But them folks on Reddit fired this person up. Talking about you must be garbage at the game. You must suck. You can't shoot this and that and blah blah blah. Because everybody seems to like the sawed off shotguns. But I understand where this person is coming from when they said that it's very inaccurate, because it is. But you got to keep in mind with them sawed-off shotguns, you dual wield them, and they're very deadly, but only up close at very close combat. So don't try to get a shot at a distance in any way, okay? Because it's not going to happen. You're going to completely miss. But yeah, up close, these things are deadly. Dual wield them, you get four shots, bam, 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 and can't nobody stand up to that. So, um, they're definitely worth the buy. They're definitely worth the having your artillery, you know what I'm saying? So, get those um, if you don't have them, all right? And then we got Hemi or Hicks Me or something. I don't know what it said. Hold on a second. What's that? Say? The game. You done made me pull this car over, man. You're going a little too far with that comment right there. You want to take the game back? Look, man, y'all going a little too hard on Rockstar, and I got to say it. Rockstar done gave us two of the greatest games in our lifetime in GTA 5 Online and now Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. And all I hear players do while they're playing the game countless hours throughout the week is bitching about the problems with the game. Look, man, y'all need to chill out and just enjoy the game. Rockstar is working on it, all right? Stop being so damn ungrateful. Let's move on to the next thing. None of your business man commented and said, Every weapon aside from my bolt action, sawed off shotgun, pump shotgun, Lancaster, varmint rifle, and my Lamats, I've got so many weapons I don't use and a ton of clothes I don't wear, traveling the opulence camp theme bought right before the rolls came out and where I eventually bought the bounty theme. Whew, shit, I'm out of breath. That man said everything that he bought that he wanted a refund for. Remember when I asked the question, I only asked for one thing that you want a refund for on Red Dead Online? But it's all good, man. Appreciate the participation. Appreciate the comments. All right, so let's move on to the next thing. Johnny Big Hand said, so far it's the hunting wagon or moonshine bar. All right, so my question to this guy is, do you actually play the game at all? Or are you just drunk on your own moonshine? Because the hunting wagon is essential for trader. You want to be able to pull in as many animal carcasses as you can to that trading table. And this is a quick and easier way to do it is by loading them up into that uh, hunting wagon. And then the moonshiner bar, the moonshining bar, the moonshiner roll. If you play this game, you want to be involved in every aspect of the game, you got to get involved with the moonshiner roll. It's really cool. They've got some story missions that go along with it and a lot of other things that happen as well 
with that role that uh, you can be involved in. If you don't have that role, then you'll never be a part of that part of the game. So it's essential. All right. But yeah, let's go on to the next thing we got here. McDonald's Crusader said, like 80% of my guns, I only use like five of them. And you also use the word like about five times in one sentence, but it's all good. That seems to be a common thing for players on Red Dead is they hate they wasted so much money on uh, weapons early on in the game that they don't use later on in the game. So watch out for that, okay? And um, real quick, if I do anything else, I just want y'all to see this little video clip. Watch it. Look out. Ooh, shot the wheel off that motherfucker. Yeah, crash. So, yeah. Let's get back to the video, though. And then Big River 420 said, the fact you can't sell horses. Uh, you can't sell horses. It says you can't sell horses. But, and are in turn forced to buy new stable stalls at a cheap spot is infuriating. He didn't fuck up with infuriating, but he fucked up with can'ts. You can only can't sell horses, my man. I'm going to have to say the White Sox wearing standard bread has been my most regretted purchase, closely followed by the lock breaker and then a full pimp outfit. So I can't say I agree with you on that pimp outfit because I own one and mine looks nice, all right? But yeah, I understand where you're coming from with uh, not being able to sell horses. You buy them, you should be able to sell them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why that's a thing on Red Dead Online, but unfortunately, it is, okay? So... Let's get on to the next thing. Who else we got here? And then Jedi Laszlo said, Rare Shotgun. Absolutely, 100% correct. Rare Shotguns, complete trash. Stay away from it at all costs. Do not waste your money. Don't even give it a second look. Rare Shotgun, we out with it. And then Atlas XX72 said, Bounty Wagon. Now, here's another player that obviously don't play the game that much. Or maybe they're just exaggerating a little bit. Because I understand that the bounty wagon is trash. But you need it. You have to have it if you want to bring in those multiple bounties. Unless you got a whole uh, crew with you or whatever. Unless you got a whole posse with you. For somebody to grab each one of those bounties. Because um, if you're by yourself or you're with two people. You got to take on a six person bounty. You're not going to make it in time with all those bodies. If you ain't got a bounty wagon. Now the bounty wagon is hard to control. And it does cause you to lose your bounties you will crash the bounty wagon uh going up and around mountains and hills and whatever and whatnot it's terrible I, you know i hate the way that thing drives and i hate to lug it around and try to make it back to wherever i'm going with that bounty wagon it, it sucks i get you but it is a necessity you gotta have that bounty wagon man you want to get some of them big uh bounties with the multiple targets okay? red dead redeemed said bought the damn horse lantern for the wrong saddle thinking once i had purchased the lantern i can switch it over to the other saddles had to buy two more for my other horses yeah i didn't know you had to buy separate horse lanterns for separate horses um but uh i didn't like the first one i bought so i didn't buy any more i didn't even worry about it if you like the horse lantern then go for it but for me i don't like the attention it's a bright light that shines and people can see it other players can see it from a far way away in, at night time uh, you don't really need the extra light on your horse. You can see just fine. But um, if you do, if you like it, you like the way it looks, go for it. All right. And then the last comment on here. Screaming Raccoon says, the lock breaker or lock pick. That's how useful it is. I can't even remember its proper name. I bought it in beta, knowing it barely had use. Couple updates later, still no use. It may have only been $90, but I could have wasted that 90 on an ugly, fuzzy, bright pink hat or beans <laughs> so this guy he'll rather pay ninety dollars for that ugly pink hat or ninety dollars on some beans that just shows you how useless the lock pick is um so yeah just avoid that but anyway for me i'd have to say that um there's a lot of things i've spent money on in the game that i probably didn't need or uh that proved to be useless to me but one thing that really sticks out is this the how dare you emote look at this what is this this is garbage man i can't believe i spent my money on that and then we got crips right here i bought him this outfit why did i buy this outfit i don't know don't ask me i just uh wasted some money there so yeah if i could get my money back it'd be on one of those two things but yeah um appreciate y'all for watching the video that's all we got for y'all today hopefully y'all found it fun 
entertaining, informational, useful in some way, form, or fashion. And as always, for those of you who regularly watch and support my channel, I thank you for your time, and I hope that I didn't waste a second of it. Now, for those of you who this is your first time on my channel, well, look, man, you're here now. While you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me that thumbs up. Show your love and support for this channel. Uh, if you like the video and you want more from your guy Big Smith, then go ahead and turn on that notifications bell so you know when I'm dropping future videos, alright? And um, definitely, talk your shit in the comment section, the good, the bad, or the ugly. It don't matter as long as you still love me. Alright, okay, what else can I say except for I'm out of here.